Prosecutors have released three harrowing videos made by Parkland, Florida shooting suspect Nicholas Cruz. In one video, the accused killer calmly states he's going to be the next school shooter of 2018. Prosecutors shouldn't have much difficulty making their case against him, uh, and these videos don't really provide any new information or answers. But do they raise some big questions? Why release them? Well, media wanted them. Media were making all sorts of Freedom of Information Act requests. And let's get some answer from retired LAPD detective Mark Furman and Andrew Pollock, whose 18-year-old daughter, Meadow, was killed in the Stone and Douglas High School shooting in February. And Andrew, uh, you were on radio today, and it was so moving. Um, you've done so much already uh, to bring sanity to this conversation about uh, school safety and so forth. And you know, our viewers just, you know, our heart goes out to you, and uh, thank you for being with us tonight. You had very Thanks, poignant Lord. and pointed words, Andrew, about this video, these videos being released. I, uh, Laura, I really couldn't, I didn't watch it, I just really, I, I read the transcripts. And reading uh, those transcripts uh, made me sick to my stomach, just reading it, so uh, I'm glad I didn't really look at the videos. But what bothered me was the, the fame aspect of it, uh, how it, he, was, he knew he was going to be glorified in the news. And I think that that's a big problem in this country with the media uh, using their names and, and showing their pictures throughout uh, on the media throughout the country. So I, I think that we could learn a lot from this as, uh, in this country and, and not really show their names uh, or their faces uh, uh, in the media. I think it would make a difference. That's what they want, and he, you're right. He referenced that. You're going to know who I am. Uh, Mark Furman, premeditated murder uh, in Florida. Um, this, this really kind of <laughs> explodes that. Like, there's no way. I think they couldn't charge him now with premeditated murder, and that would mean possibility of the death penalty. But you're very against the release of these videos, uh, and tell us why. Well, the, the release of the videos has no evidentiary or information value whatsoever. Uh, he has <clears throat> confessed and he wants a life sentence in exchange for no death penalty. Uh, the media at large requests, because of Florida law of discovery, once discovery is made, they can ask pretty much anything that, that the defense attorney and the prosecutor have. So they do that, but they obviously show no responsibility by releasing this because this information now in front of every juror in the country, not just Florida, is seeing something that makes a death penalty case very difficult for the prosecutors because now when you go into that courtroom, the jurors have all seen this. Not only does he show premeditation, but he really kind of argues against a mental defect. He seems completely in control of his planning, right. completely in control of the motive, exactly. and this is his manifesto. Yeah. Andrew, you made this uh, it's point. Uh, up with yeah, you made this point, Andrew, on radio. That the, that, get, that the guy is like, oh, he's insane. Oh, he has autism. He doesn't have control of his faculties. Oh, he's crazy. No. Well, yeah, maybe his, maybe his, his mental he's problems, just a but he knew what he was doing. And then, you know, Lord, it even gets worse. There's other videos. Uh, my daughter happened to get murdered in the hallway. So uh, that that's going to be the next videos the media is going to be looking at, uh, and they're going to look to uh, put that in the media also. Uh, on the third floor, oh. she was shot nine times, and, and that was uh, that's on the camera too. So they'll be looking for those videos next, and that's going to be heart wrenching. Oh no! And they're, what they what they were trying to do is keep school shooting video games uh, going for the longest time, and thank goodness that's been shut down. Uh, Andrew has been lobbying against that. Mark, uh, I know you have strong feelings about that as well. Parents are worried about copycat killers who want fame. They don't, they're, not, they're, not, they're not focused on what Andrew's focused on, how to make these schools safe, uh, metal detectors, whatever we have to do to make these schools safe. There are practical things that Texas is doing, thank goodness, and other places. Mark, final word. Well, we, uh, Laura, we have, uh, we have legislation ahead. on my website that people could look at because now's the time for these governors to act. They need to look at what Florida did, what Governor Scott helped get passed, and look what, we, what we're doing in Florida with the Senate Bill 7026, and they should be proactive. Why should they be waiting for another shooting? Because there's some other sociopath out there planning another shooting. Yeah, so well they should said. be proactive. Mark. 
I think we should just uh, leave this with what Mr. Pollock said and, and hear his outrage and his anger and his self-righteous uh, purpose to actually stop these school shootings. It could probably be done if everybody really wanted it to be. Well, uh, God bless well, you both. for th Thank you so much. Uh, much needed tonight.